31 year old Jasmine. Tim. And this hour is filled with even more DNA drama. I have never, ever, ever allowed someone to take my thunder. He says he won't be the last man she'll have to test. Because you think you can't have any kids. You know what? Swear but what the right look. But what will the DNA test prove? That's what I'm twerking out. The DNA test will reveal the shocking truth next. Everyone, welcome Jasmine to the show. Now, when Jasmine was nine years old, her father, Andrew, sat her down and said, Jasmine, you need to know I'm not your real father. Oh. So as you can imagine, Jasmine was shocked and confused. 22 years would pass before this ever was mentioned again. That was until this past Father's Day when Andrew looked Jasmine in the eye and said, Jasmine, I'm not your father. A man named Tim is your father. Oh. Well, guess what? Tim is here, and we've given him a paternity test. So, <laughs> by the way, Andrew, Andrew couldn't come. Andrew, the man who's raised Jasmine, couldn't come because he's been ill and he wasn't able to travel. So what happened this past Father's Day? He told me, he said, I'm not your daddy, basically, and that a man named Tim was my father. Wait, so what happened between 9 and 22? I was, I and moved. You, and you were living with Andrew as your father. Right. You know, I was confused when he told me that. You know, I was young, so I didn't really understand. You slept it off? Yeah, I just, like, just... Let it run down my back like it was water. I didn't even really care. I was just like, okay. And so. He, and this past June. This, this past June. He told you that. Yeah. Your mom died 11 years ago. Right. Did you ever talk to her about this? I did. I asked her. I said, um, well, Andrew's been denying me. I want to know. And she told me, she said, Jasmine, I know who I had intimates with. Andrew is your father. So, so now, it's, it's, this is just this past June, right? Right. You find Tim? I found Tim. I reached out to him. He didn't respond at first. So I, I called my godmother and I asked her, I said, Godmama, can you please try to reach out to him? And immediately, he responded. And you've been in contact with each other? Every day, Maury. He calls me every day. He, he motivates me. He is a good man. Right. And I would want him to be my father okay. because of what I went through as a child with Andrew. And you've never met him? Never met him. So you believe he's your father? I really do. You think you look alike? I look a lot alike like this man, Maury. Look. Look at my face. And he is, Maury. nothing like that man. Now, here's the thing. You've got a sister and a brother who do not believe that Tim is your father. Right. They believe that Andrew is your father and that you're tearing the family apart. I just don't understand. Like, they're just making it seem like I'm a bad your person. Like, I'm trying to find out who my father is. Your, pro your, your brother Omar is probably... He's like a father figure. When, when he wasn't... When no one was around, he was there. He was a father and right. a brother to me. So he feels betrayed. Right, he feel like that I'm tarnishing my mother's name, that she's not here to defend herself, which I get that, but I just want to know the truth. I just want to know where I'm from. Well, Omar is here, but you also have a sister named Vaniqua. Yes. And Vaniqua is here. Yes. Vaniqua, you don't think that Tim is the father, do you? No, sir, I do not. Why? When my sister was going through it half her life, he was nowhere to be found. Andrew's the one that took care of her. Andrew's the one that nurtured her. Andrew was there to make sure she had everything.